An Uber, you say? No, that's fine. I'll just wait for my horse-drawn carriage. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel and welcome to Vlogmas. I can't believe we're finally here, but this month I am posting 25 videos in 25 days. So I really do hope you stick around for that. And without further ado, let's get into our very first video. So this video is going to be all about my Christmas slash holiday essentials and winter must-haves. So pretty much just all the things that I need for the holiday season and ideas for you guys if you're interested. So let's get into it. Okay, so to start off I'm just gonna talk about what I'm wearing right now this is a Victoria's Secret onesie and every holiday season I pretty much spend my days in onesies and comfy pajamas and I just think that it is an essential for the holidays they're so cute it says pink everywhere because it's from Victoria's Secret pink they come in a variety of colors and styles and this is a size small just in case you guys were wondering I'm gonna go ahead and stand up and give you guys a little shot of what this looks like how cute is this guys I just can't get over it and it feels like a second skin I just love to lounge around in these and watch Christmas movies all day and all night. Anyway, on to the next item. So next up for me are booties. I think that having booties during the winter and Christmas time are just such an essential. And recently I've been very into red for some reason. I think a red accent during the holidays is just so so gorgeous. So I picked up some red booties from I think it was eBay. If I can get my hands on any links I'll have them down below. And of course red is definitely a very out there bold color so if you're not into that you can go ahead and pick yourself up a black pair of booties or nude or whatever you're into but I just think that booties are so great for this time of year and for me red is the way to go right now. I just I'm so in love with them. Oh there's where's the true color? Oh yeah. Oh so the next thing that I need for the winter time, especially when I'm not getting a lot of sun, is some self-tanner. I don't actually have any bottles with me right now, but I will pop up my two favorites right here. These are some mousses, and what I like to do, and I'll probably make a video about this a little later on during Vlogmas, but what I like to do is put a gradual tanner on top of a mousse and just kind of like layer them separately. So I do the mousse and then I wash it off when it's done, and then I put on a gradual tanner and then wash that off when it's done, and it just gives you the most deep, long-lasting tan, and I just love that for the winter time. So going along with the theme of being bronzed and glowy, another essential for me is to have a makeup palette that gives me that look as well. Currently I'm using this one and it is the 35G Bronze Golds by Morphe. This is such a stunning palette and it gives me such a nice glow on my eyes for the winter time. This is what I'm wearing right now actually. By the way, here is what the inside of the palette looks like. It is just absolutely gorgeous. And most of them are very pigmented too, which I really appreciate. I feel like the mattes allow you to pick up a lot of color but the shimmers just like sometimes shimmers do don't give you as much of a color payoff but I still think it is a really pretty palette and definitely worth it for the winter time okay so my next two are a little bit boring but definitely essentials for me and that is some vitamin C and some vitamin D without these I would definitely be sick by now it just happens every year everyone gets sick around the holidays and with these I rarely do so I highly recommend picking something like this up if you guys are worried about getting sick, I usually take about two of these a day. I believe the maximum for adults is 2,000 milligrams, so I take two a day. Also, I get these at Trader Joe's in case any of you guys were wondering. And with the vitamin D, I don't think it really matters which one you take. This happens to actually be my mom's, but I've been taking them. Shh, don't tell her. But yeah, as far as I know, these are both really good for your immune system, and I cannot go a winter without them. Okay, so next up is candles. So I haven't gone candle shopping yet, so I don't have any with a scent or any that I can recommend at the moment but right now I'm just gonna tell you that candles are such a must-have for me during the holidays. Scented candles are just so perfect for the holidays because when the smell fills the room you just really get in the holiday spirit and I don't believe this one is scented. Oh. It's called Crimson Cranberry. But yeah, this is just my mom's again. It's just kind of like a prop. I'm just telling you guys that candles are a must have and I really do need to go out and get myself some, so. So next up, I believe that during the holidays, every girl and man, anyone, should have their signature scent. Whether it's a perfume, a cologne, a body spray, a lotion, whatever it is, smelling great for the holidays is such a thing for me. I don't really know why, but this year, my signature scent is gonna be Black Opium by YSL. I just think that this smells so 
cozy. It has such a deep, rich scent to it. I don't really know how to describe it. I'm really not good at all at describing perfumes, but it just makes me want to cuddle up next to a fireplace and watch movies, drink hot cider, and just smell myself. So <laughs> this is definitely one of my favorites at the moment. I just can't stop smelling it. It's like the perfect woody, musky, berry perfection. It's amazing. Even my mom and dad, who normally can't stand the smell of perfumes, think that this smells really nice. So if that doesn't sell you, I don't know what does. Okay, so next up, I have some earrings with me. I got these at Target, just in case anyone's wondering. And these are just some gold, I don't know what you call them, like raindrop or teardrop earrings. They are just so stunning in my opinion and I think that every holiday season a little bit of statement jewelry will go a long way. I'm just gonna pop these in real quick and show you guys what they look like. I'm really into gold jewelry but it doesn't have to be gold. It can be silver as well but I just feel like having some sort of earrings or necklace that gives a bit of a statement yet still looks classy is perfect for Christmas and winter and just the holiday season and I just feel like these are so pretty. I don't know, you guys can tell me what you think, but yeah, I just, they're a must have for me. Like, would you just look at them? They are so pretty. So another must have for me during the holidays is a red lipstick. I personally don't understand how anyone can go through the holiday season without wearing red lips once. But if you are that kind of person, no judgment here. But if you are not that kind of person and you do love red lips, they are truly the way to go. There are tons of options out there and obviously these are just two, but two of my favorites are Cruella by NARS and this is a lip pencil. And I just think that the color is so gorgeous. And the next one is Mary Jo K by Kylie Cosmetics. I'll try to film clips of them in the sunlight so that you guys can actually see what the colors look like. So here is Cruella by NARS. And here is Mary Jo K by Kylie Cosmetics. All right, so staying along the lines of cosmetics and back to being bronze, a big necessity for me every holiday season is a good highlighter. And I know that that is nothing original. Every girl out there wants to glow like a goddess during the holiday season, but this is the one that I'm currently using. It's nothing new, everyone knows this one, but it is Champagne Pop by Becca Cosmetics and Jaclyn Hill. Is it gonna focus? I mean, I'm sure you guys all know this already, but this is just the most beautiful color and definitely still one of my staples. So yeah, I require a good highlighter during the holidays because the star on top of the tree is not the only thing that should be shining. So during the winter time, it gets colder, our skin gets drier, and please tell me I'm not the only one who has skin peeling problems because I know I'm not. So comment below, I need to know y'all are out there. And boy, do I have a solution for you. Besides face masks and moisturizers and all that, one of my favorite things to use is an exfoliating glove. I use this literally every day all year round. It doesn't matter if it's the winter or the summer, spring or fall. What I do every night is I wet the glove and I put some face cleanser on it and then I gently exfoliate my face every night before bed and then I put on my moisturizer and it's a bit unusual but it is a mix of some aloe vera and vitamin E oil. I know I already talked about this in my current favorites and obsessions video but it actually truly is such an essential for me. And if you're worried about the oil breaking you out, I have very acne prone skin and it does not do that for me. Also, if you're worried about it being too oily, that's what the aloe helps with. It really helps dry it down, as well as the fact that aloe is soothing. So if you do have any acne, it'll calm down the redness a bit. So those are the main things that I use on my face. But for the rest of me, if anything is super dry or cracking or peeling or any of that, Vaseline or something like Aquaphor is amazing during the winter time. You can put this on your hands, your elbows, your lips, whatever is giving you problems, and it works like a mick frickin' charm. Also for lip Lips especially, I would really recommend picking up some lip balm because cracked dry lips this winter time is just not the vibe. This particular one is from Sprouts and it is the Vanilla Bean Lip Balm. There she is, so pretty. Next up is one of my absolute favorite things for the holidays and it is such a simple item. Everyone owns it, I'm pretty sure, but yeah, it is a curling iron. There is nothing to me at least like having the perfect luscious locks for the holidays. They just give you such a 
classy put together festive look and all my curls actually fell out but I had my hair curled at the beginning of the video if you noticed <laughs> but anyway so this is the one and a half inch barrel and it is a Revlon curler I don't know if you guys can see that but this one works really well for me and I recommend if you guys have longer hair to go for a bigger inched barrel just because it gives you those bigger almost sort of like wavier locks I don't know what I'm doing right now but it doesn't give you those little tight curls unless that's the look you want to go for then get a smaller inched barrel but this is the look I like except for the fact that all my curls have already fallen out but you know what I'm going for so yeah so the next thing is also very basic but such an essential for me and that is a plushy blanket these just make the holidays 100% better don't at me there's nothing like just cuddling up in these and watching movies I know that I say watching movies for almost every one of these items but it's the holidays. What else do you do? Give cheer, thanks, and goodwill? I don't think so. I'm just kidding. <laughs> do all of that. Alrighty, so next up are gloves. Especially if you live in a colder area. I live in California, so it doesn't get crazy cold here, but it does have its chilly days, and some people also have terrible circulation. I don't happen to be one of those people, but if you do, get yourself some gloves, girl. These ones are actually the kind that have the little touch pads on them. I don't know what you call it, but with these things, you can actually still use your phone without taking your gloves off, which I find it very useful in this day and age among us millennials. My mom actually got me these gloves a few years ago, so I don't really know where they're from or how much they cost, but here they are. And I will try to figure out what company they're from. Alpine Swiss. I believe. I don't know if that's the name of the company, but that's my best guess. Okay, so going along with gloves, I also always need me a scarf. Doesn't matter what kind of scarf, what color scarf, just anything to spice up your outfits and keep your neck warm. I have no idea where I got this one, um, but I like it. And you can also turn it into a stylish headband. No? Okay. Oh, hold your horses there, folks. It is from H&M. But yeah, it looks like this, and I just think it is super cute. This pattern, or whatever it's called, like this type of knit won't actually keep you incredibly warm. So if you live in a colder area, definitely get something thicker. But for what it is, I like it. Okay, so going along the lines of thick and warm, next up is a sweater, specifically a turtleneck sweater. For some reason lately, I've been very into turtleneck sweaters. I just think they make you look so classy and so put together. And of course, with this kind of thickness and the neck part, it'll keep you very warm. Also, this particular sweater is from Zaffle. I'll try to have it linked down below as well. And something that I really like about it is, I don't know if you guys can see, but the bottom has this really interesting sort of cut to it, and I've never seen that before so I like that it gives it kind of a unique factor. Also if you're into tucking sweaters into your pants I feel like having this little flap actually helps keep it in there and then these two side flaps can just hang off all cute and whatnot so yeah a sweater. Also I forgot to mention this but if you live in a colder area along with the gloves and the scarf and the sweater and the coats that I'm about to talk about you should probably also pick yourself up a hat but here in California I don't really need one but that could be someone else's essential so you're welcome. Okay, so nearing the end here, I have another one of my favorite things for the holidays, and that is a faux fur jacket or coat. I have quite a few, actually, and I tried them all on in a winter coat haul slash try on video. I'll try to have that linked below, too. But yeah, I just grabbed one of the jackets and it just so happens to be this one. I just think that having a faux fur coat just really spices up the holidays. Do you know what I mean? Like, would you just look at this? How could you not be the belle of any ball this holiday season with one of these on? Oh my gosh. And then pair it with the earrings and you are just a stunner, baby. Oh, an Uber, you say? No, that's fine. I'll just wait for my horse-drawn carriage. Mm. Yes, girl. It looks kind of silly with the onesie, but just look at this. I feel like faux fur is just a wintertime must-have. Also, if you guys are curious, I got this particular jacket off of Depop, and it is made by the company White House Black Market. So in addition to having a faux fur coat, something else that I also need is a trench-style coat, and it can have fur trim or no fur trim. In this case, the fur trim is detachable, but this is one of my absolute favorite coats. I got it off of Depop pop as well but it is by the company river island right there and i'm gonna try it on for you guys so you can see what it looks like oh my god is this not 
stunning. Ugh, I don't even have my arms in it yet, and it just looks amazing. All right, so this is what it looks like on. It clasps right here. I don't feel like doing that right now, but you can also belt it. Just cinch that waist into the high heavens until it's time to eat. Here's just about how far down it goes on me. So yeah, I think that's a good length. And of course, if you live in snowier, colder weather, you can go for a full length trench. I just think that these are so classic, so timeless. And again, the fur is detachable. So if I ever wanted to wear it without it, it would have this really nice lapel detail right here. Oh my gosh, I don't want to take it off. I look like a snow bunny. Okay, so those are all of the tangible items that I can talk about today. Whoops, popped a button. <laughs> not this kind of channel. So a few more things that I do want to mention as essentials and necessities for me are first and foremost cookies, but specifically ginger cookies. I'm absolutely obsessed with ginger cookies, especially the really chewy kind that have the chunks of ginger in them. If I can get my hands on any of them this season, I absolutely will be. I also love apple cider. I don't know how many of you guys like that as well. I personally don't drink any alcohol, so I don't have any wine recommendations, but apple cider for me is just one of those things that I need to have during the holidays, especially the Martinelli cider. That is just, oh, yes. Also, I was gonna give you guys song recommendations as well, but when I was thinking about it, I was just like, all Christmas songs are good. So, well, okay, maybe not all of them, but most of them. So yeah, I just listen to them all. And then last but not least, I wanted to talk about movies. So I'm not gonna go through a whole list of my top 10 or whatever. Everyone knows the classics and they're all very good. But a movie that came out more recently and that I absolutely love is The Holiday. The Holiday isn't exactly like all the other Christmas movies out there, but it is definitely a must see, especially if you are into kind of like the old Hollywood sort of cinema. It's not filmed like that, but it definitely has that theme because some of the characters in the movie work as filmmakers in LA. Well, a trailer maker and a score writer. But anyway, so it's pretty much a two hour long film I think about romance and finding yourself and women empowerment and it takes place both in England and in California so there's a switch that goes on in the film I don't want to give too much away but it's definitely a really good movie if you guys are interested in watching it I highly recommend it anyway with that I'm gonna wrap up this video there's so much more that I could have talked about but I had to narrow it down for you guys so here are just a few of my holiday essentials and winter must-haves I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video I thought it'd be a great way to kick off the vlogmas holiday season so if you did enjoy it make sure to give it a thumbs up down below and subscribe if you want to see more also if you'd like to see more of me you can go ahead and give me a follow on instagram and with all that said i believe we have reached the end of this video so i will see you guys tomorrow in the next one i love you so much i hope you have a great day or night wherever you are and i'll see you in vlogmas day two